Don't forget the ads feed the ducks and the ducks we're raising this year we're donating to local food banks. If you want to help out the duck adventure, the link below, 50 ducks on a hot tub, you can buy one of these t-shirts, you can donate monthly, you can make one-time donation. And the most important thing you can do is like the video and don't forget to share it guys. Good morning everybody and welcome to the duck adventure for August the, I think it's the 23rd. I let the it's Sunday morning, I let the ducks out. It's about uh, five after six. I knew that they weren't going to go to the lake, so I thought, ah, oh, we'll just let them out. My lawn needs to be cut anyways, and they're doing a great job, actually. I can't believe over there the grass is like a, a golf course. It's actually, they're cutting it pretty good. Actually, I'm really impressed with their uh, lawn cutting skills. But what I'm doing is I'm going down to uh, the lake. The sun's not up yet. It's going to be a beautiful day, though. It's supposed to be like a high of 27 and no clouds which the sky is blue as could be. But I'm going down uh, just to see if I can uh, pop off some shots here, just in case. And when I say pop off some shots, I'm talking about actually shooting at something. Okay, guys, they're here. Sounds like the ducks are coming down here. Sounds like they're getting closer to me. Yep, there they are. Yeah, they're working their way down. I guess they had enough of the yard. But we've got an otter right here. And I know he's right here. I saw him. I don't know if he turned out in the video. But it looked like only one of them. Well, I only saw one. Well, here they come. Oh. They, were, they, were, they don't know what to do. They put the brakes on. The ducks are confused. They want to come down, but they, <laughs> it's like some kind of little glass wall stopping them. 
And you know, I, this morning I was actually thinking about bringing the 22 down. And if I would have brought it down, I could have took that shot. Because I did have a good sign, a good, a good clear sight of his back. I said it was a little too far for the shotgun. A little too much angle. Would have been too much spray. I didn't think the ducks would be interested in coming down here. Based on everything that's been happening here. No sign of him. He's left us. Or he's just hiding, waiting. I don't know if he's waiting. I think when he was in here swimming, he was actually uh, chasing that little wood duck. Head back and have my coffee. Sounds like the ducks are going to stay in the swamp. Or down by the lawn, I should say. Lower into the swamp lawn. Might take a quick walk to the lake. Let's see if I can see anything from the dock. Actually, guys, I see some ripples in the water out there. He might be swimming around. I'm going to the dock. There he's back. There he is. It's that little wood duck's back again. You know what, guys? I think maybe it was the wood duck swimming around. Oh, that would have sucked. It would have shot it. That actually would have been against the law. Oh, look at this, guys. Another kill site. Another duck bit it here. I don't know when. Because the ducks stayed yesterday in the yard. You know, the ducks are seriously skittish. I think until I get rid of uh, that one otter that I know, well, I know for absolutely sure there's at least one left. I don't think the ducks are going to relax. And the fact yesterday that, you know, I actually saw that trail in the swamp and it definitely was a four-legged creature. It wasn't a duck. The track, so... I can't believe that uh, whatever you know it was, if it was the otter, or I got a hunch it was the otter, came up that close to the yard. All right, well, I'm gonna go and have my coffee and I'm going to uh, get my edit done and then I'm going to pick green beans and then I'm gonna get the weed whacker out and start doing a bunch of cutting on the property. Look at them following me back. Oh, ducks. I know, it sucks. Gave my shotgun a good cleaning last night. Got her all barrel nice and shiny inside. <laughs> I don't think it'll help me much, but hey, it felt good cleaning my gun. There's that crooked neck, Muscovy. Sun's just coming up. You can see the swamp lighting up over there. We got mosquitoes flying around too. They just found me. It's a cool morning. It's only about 12 degrees. Actually, it's a typical uh, August morning. It's going to like uh, 27 today. Oh, look at that little skunk victim. <laughs> She's so cute. Oh, man. Something about underdogs. I don't know what it is. And guys, this water is dirty from the mud in their bills. I, I cleaned this out. I cleaned it out last night, actually. That water is uh, maybe had about five hours of duck activity. But see, you can see the mud right there. They drill the mud, then they put their mouths in the bill. Because when I empty uh, the kiddie pool out, the bottom of it's got like about a half an inch of mud. Well, actually, sometimes an inch of mud. Actually, guys, I've seen the mud, uh, or I should say it's grass almost, uh, a clump floating. It looks like an island in the middle from their bills. Well, they can cut my lawn. They're doing a pretty good job, though. I'm uh, the last couple of days. I've noticed the grass getting shorter. Look at that little Muscovy just eating away. 
You can hear it tearing the uh, grass. Well, I don't know if you can hear much with all the quacking, but... Okay, where's... Oh, there's Handicap Duck. Actually, I'm gonna do her water. And don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends and enjoy the show. You know, they keep going down to the swamp. They want to go to the swamp so bad, but uh, they you know, they get they go down about a third and then they come back. I think uh, what I saw this morning was the uh, the wood duck, because when I uh, was walking back, I uh, I came back and it was starting to swim around. I got down low in the the bulrushes, and I looked up and it. it it had its head in the water and it looked like it actually looked like an otter for a second swimming around with its head under the water uh, because all I could see was the back of the duck so it would have sucked if I would have shot it that's why I you know I, I that's why I don't take my shots until I'm absolutely positive what I'm pulling my trigger on I'm not a as you could say like a trigger happy uh, hunter actually I'm not even a hunter I'm just a, a protector but I also make sure what I shoot, I'm killing the right thing. Accidental uh, death is something I don't like. Especially if something that shouldn't die. <laughs> Just look at them. Sun's not up yet. Or it's just, oh, it's just coming over the trees, guys. There you go. The morning sun. So it's got to be about uh, 6.30 now. It's like they want to go to the lake. Like, look at them working their way over there. Oh, we got a whole bunch of visitors with uh, handicapped duck this morning. We got a Muscovy. Oh, that's a female breeder. And handicapped duck. She's got a visitor this morning. Well, I'm gonna go and have a coffee, guys. I wonder if Doug's sleeping. I, I shouldn't say I wonder. I know he is. Doug? Doug? You, come on, wake up. Come outside. Aw, oh, Dougie, you got an ear infection. Oh, I gotta put some ear drops in. I'm just trying to get some computer work done here before I come out and start working, which I'm really behind, even though I got up really early today. And the ducks came running back from the swamp, really freaked out. I came out looking for Doug. You couldn't find Doug anywhere, and he just appeared from the swamp. Uh, I think the otters are back because Doug is, uh, well, he's just covered in mud. Doug's just absolutely caked in mud. He's been uh, seriously running the swamp. He's out of breath. And he keeps going back to the swamp. There he's going again. I think the otters are back, or at least one of them is. Something's down at the swamp. And Doug, uh, he's been going back and forth. That's all he's doing all morning. And the ducks will not go to the, will not go down there at all. Like, not at all. Actually, the only thing that will go down there is Doug. And usually Doug, you know, he just lays around on the deck and watches the ducks, but uh, like he's been gone. Every time I come outside, he's going back down again now. I'm going to put my rubber boots on and, oh, now he's barking. I'm going down with the shotgun. Of course there's wind noise. Ducks won't come down here at all though. 
It could be like the other day, you know, or yesterday when the uh, the otter was ah oh, the wind. You know, we could have uh, the otter trying to run through the mud again. Like, look at the ducks, they're all in a big group again. Poor Dougie's running really hard, too. I'm just taking a look here before I head down. The fact that they're in a big clump again, when they stick like that in a big bunch, it means something's close. The fact that Doug's been running down here, I don't think the otters are going to be around, but and i got to be really careful. And if I see uh, the otters and Doug's in front of me, I, I might not even be able to take the shot because I, I, I'm not taking, uh, I'm not, I, I won't risk a shot that I could come anywhere near Doug. I've got to have absolute clear shot here. Now, if Doug wants to flush them out for me, But I was in the house editing and I, I thought I hadn't seen Doug on the back deck or the front deck. Uh, usually you know, he hangs around and watches over the ducks. And then all the ducks were in a big group in the middle of the yard. And I came outside and I couldn't find Doug anywhere. And that's when I went in and got the binoculars and I started looking around and I still couldn't see him. And then all of a sudden he just started running back from the swamp full bore. He's just filthy. He's hot too. He must be really running hard. Look at the dog. Oh man. And this is a dog that, you know, he won't come out when it's raining. Oh, Doug, you're really dirty. And the fact that Doug's down here, you know, running. There's no way the otters would hang around with Doug running down here. It's just no way. It just doesn't make any sense. But the fact that the ducks are freaked out and Doug is running the property. Like, you know, he'd be sort of like a, you know, sweep in the area that there'd be nothing here. They, they, they should come down. I'm telling you guys, the predator situation this year is a completely different than last year. Last year it was like much more cut and dried. This year is like crazy. Absolutely not a sign of anything. Not a sign of anything. I'm gonna go down to the dock, do a quick walk around. But I've got to get my work done so I can get outside here. And uh, because my, my goal today, guys, absolutely, before I go to bed, this is getting cut. That's the plan. I'm, uh, I'm not going to vary off of it. Because there's uh, two things that have to get done today. Well, it'd be three, it would be nice, but two for sure. Are cut the beans. Cut the bulrushes. Oh, man. I'm tired. Cut the bulrushes. Pick my beans. And number three, which would be a bonus, kill the remaining otters. But Dougie's, uh, he's working hard. Oh, what an awesome dog. <laughs> you know, and to think about it, guys, you know, you wash that dog up, and he's the ultimate cuddle monster. <laughs> and then flip up a switch. He's out here in the swamp hunting for the kill. Oh, Dougie, you're such a precious thing. And a brute, all in one. All right, let's go to the dock. See if we can see anything at the lake. I know one thing guys, I'm pounding, well I'm not pounding, the ducks are pounding the feed back. They uh, ate a grand total, seven bags in the last 24 hours. This not going to the lake is, uh, is seriously cranking up the feed consumption. And don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends and enjoy the show. Oh, that little wood duck's on the dock. <laughs> All right. See if we see anybody swimming around here, other than a wood duck. It's still got something hanging out of its mouth. I think it's got a fishing line or something stuck out of its mouth. You know, the only thing swimming around here is this duck. You know, some telling me that until I uh, get rid of these otters, the ducks are not going to come down here. 
the fact that they're just absolutely freaked out about coming to the lake. Like, you know, for all I know right now, you know, there could be otters hiding because, you know, a predator will sit for hours waiting. And, you know, the ducks, you know, they, they know, uh, you know, to a certain degree when things are, you know, lurking in, you know, in the underbrush where I'm, you know, I'm oblivious to it. But like yesterday, Doug and I tried our damnedest to get them to come to the lake and it was impossible. Actually, you know what? It would have taken me three people and Doug to get the flock down because uh, they, they just would not go down. They, were, they, they kept deking around us and, and I was running back and forth with the sticks and, and Doug was running and, and it was like they were just not going. It would, like, it would take three people to get the flock to the water right now. They're so freaked out about the lake. I don't see anything swimming around down here. What a shame. The ducks need to be down here. Yeah, that little wood duck could be waiting for my ducks to show up. Well, there's definitely something hanging out of its mouth. Well, Dougie, no sign of uh, our problem, is there? You smell there, Doug. I don't see anything. Something's been here, hasn't it? Done? Well, we know something's here. But you know, sooner or later, the uh, the otters have got to get a little more courageous. Uh, they're going to get hungry. You know, the duck's not coming down to the lake. They're going to, uh, you know, they're going to get, you know, they're going to get, uh, they're going to get courageous and and do what they did the other day and and come out of the water and show themselves. Just like they did, uh, you know, two days ago. Sooner or later, you know, they've had a feast of duck. They know what it tastes like. It's an easy, easy meal for them, like really easy meal. So it's just uh, a matter of time before they come out of the creek, and we can, you know, get another visual and and know uh, that where we gotta hunt them. Well, I got a whole bunch of freaked out ducks. Everybody's just hanging around close. Well, my lawn's getting cut. <laughs> Look at it, guys. What a difference they've made the last couple days. It's like a golf course. But Doug and I have got to get this, whatever this is. Well, I've got to get it. Doug will probably just keep pushing it away. Well, the kill deer keep losing it here. And every time the killdeer lose it, Doug loses it, and the duck lose it. Actually, the killdeer lose it, then ducks lose it. Doug, it's, it's just not, it's just a change reaction today. But something is, well, for the killdeer, you know, I, I'm now, this year, actually, the killdeer have been, uh, the, you know, probably the best alarm system there is because uh, every single time they have freaked out, something's been here. And sometimes they freak out, and I'm, I don't pay attention, and there is something here. But Doug and the ducks are seem to be tuned into the killdeer. But as soon as the killdeer lose it, you know, the, the Doug and the ducks uh, get into a, like a hyper state. Okay, the wind's coming off the swamp, and Doug is standing beside me snorting. There's something uh, out here. There's something out there. And today the wind is coming in the perfect direction to set Doug off. And more than likely, the ducks can smell it too. Doug, you know, we're not having any luck getting work done today. All we're doing is being on patrol. Well, I, I just repositioned the ladder. 
so that I can actually shoot from up here. I don't see anything up here. Doug is upset though. There's something here. We could have a fox actually. The fact that, you know, we're getting all of these uh, false alarms. Because the fox, uh, you know, is sneaky and sly. Doug, is it a fox? And the killdeer keep losing it. Doug keeps barking, killdeer keep losing it, and ducks refuse to go down to the water. Sooner or later, these uh, otters have got to show themselves. Sooner or later. Or a fox, or a coyote, or whatever is causing this problem today. Well, I gotta get my work done so I can get out here. Cause I gotta get out here and uh, I gotta get I gotta start attacking this. And I've got the weed whacker uh, all tuned up and ready to go. So she runs and I shouldn't have any problems today. Well, I shouldn't say that. Knock on wood. But the fact that Doug is patrolling the far side of the shoreline and that's where the uh, otters were coming from. It could be that they're here right now. You know, they could, they could actually be here. And Doug is just, you know, making them hide right now. I know one thing, this is real frustrating stuff. And the ducks won't leave the yard. Poor ducks. Nobody will leave the yard. But you got to give them, you know, credit here, guys. Because they're staying in the yard. And Doug, well, he's just coming back now. He went on a rip through the bulrushes. You know, he's keeping the predators in the, you know, down there. And, you know, by his activity, he is actually forcing them to stay down there. And the ducks, you know, know the safest place to be is stay in the yard. They're a lot smarter than you think. You know, and look at them, like Doug walks up and, you know, and they don't get totally, you know, they look, I shouldn't say don't get totally freaked out. You know, they walk away from them. But they don't panic, you know, like when an otter or a coyote comes up. You know, it's like they know Doug is supposed to be around. Hey, right, Dougies? Oh, what a brutal day, isn't it? You're working so hard. Well, I've made the decision. I'm going to hold off on editing, guys. Uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna, probably going to put me a day behind. So when you watch this, you're going to understand, you know, with everything that's been going on, why I'm behind. But I'm going to go, uh, I got to pull my beans. I got to pull my beans, get them at least picked and get them soaking in water so that uh, I can clean them up later or tomorrow. And I'm going to uh, power up the weed whacker and seriously start attacking the swamp to make it just impossible for anything to uh, sneak up on the ducks. I got sad news, guys. I'm just uh, doing the duck feeder here. It's about 8 o'clock. I've been weed whacking in the swamp basically since I finished picking all my uh, green beans. But we just uh, had uh, two deaths. Handicapped duck who just passed away. Well, passed away sometime today. I don't know when, but well, it's just just recently. Still stiff. Oh man, we tried, and I had a uh, a female breeder. I don't know what was wrong with her. She had blood coming out of her eyes and uh, she was in the bathtub, barely alive, barely alive. Like, uh, 
I, I don't understand, you know, why she was in there. If she got trapped in there, what happened, or, you know, if she, but I didn't hear nothing. Today, I've been outside working and, like, nothing. So, two dead ducks, uh, a breeder, and uh, a handicapped duck. I got more bad news. The straw pile. The tarp was ripped on the top, and uh, it was like a big rip. I couldn't believe it. I walked past it, and I thought, oh, i got to deal with this. So I tried to take the tarp off. Really easy. Like, I, I really took, I did not yank at it or anything like that. Unfortunately, the nest that that girl had in there was, again, I don't know how she had it in there on the side of the bales, but uh, she had seven eggs, they rolled on the ground, and they broke. Uh, they dropped on the ground and they broke. Well, they, they, well, they cracked, they were you know, leaking. So, out of seven eggs, six of them had live ducklings in them, guys. I just, I just like, so like technically, you know, I ate dead ducks today. And don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends and enjoy the show. And don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends.